Pycat's arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and Pycat says a $15 minimum payment was made on a credit card balance of $480. The card was not used the following month, but the statement showed a balance of $548.70. What percent interest is the credit card company charging to carry the balance? So we're going to use the percent change formula to solve this one. Again, percent change is equal to the new value minus the old value over the old value. This will result in a decimal that you can then multiply by 100 to convert that decimal to percent. Most people can do that part mentally. So let's go ahead and start filling this formula in. What is the new value? It's right here. It's uh, 548.70. What is the old value? Here we have to be very careful as to what we plug in. Some people would say it's 480. That's not correct. Again, we made a $15 payment. So our old value is going to be 480 minus 15, which is 465. So this is 465. Again, this is over the old value, 465. And we can multiply this by 100 to convert our decimal to percent. Let's keep working this out. Uh, let's do down here, I'm going to do 548.70 minus uh, 465. 70 minus nothing is 70. Bring down our decimal. 8 minus 5 is 3. 4 minus 6, we can't do. We have to borrow. This becomes 4. This becomes 14. Uh, 14 minus 6 is 8. 4 minus 4 is nothing. So this is 83.70 divided by 465. Again, multiply this resulting decimal by 100 to get your percent. Now we got to do this long division here. This says 83.70 divided by 465. And the great thing about the ASVAB is everything usually works out evenly, and that's how you know you're on the right track. How many times does 465 go into 873 without going over? And again, bring up your decimal into your answer. This is going to be one time. How do I know that? Look at your answer choices. They all start with one. 465 times one is 465. Let's do this subtraction here. This is two. We have to borrow. This becomes seven. This becomes 13. This is going to be uh, seven. This is going to be three. And we bring down this zero. Now, how many times does 465 go into 3,720? Again, it's either going to be five, six, seven, or eight times. I'm going to do eight because that's the biggest number. So we got 465 times eight. Uh, five times eight is 40. Carry a four. Eight times six is 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Carry a five. Uh, four times eight is 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So we can see that 465 times eight is exactly 3,720. So we have no remainder. Therefore, we know that this is going to be 0.18 times 100, again, that's the same thing as 18%. So this one is D, 18%. Again, this is a very hard problem, very tedious, a lot of decimals and mental math to do in this one.